everyone, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. For those of you who are new to my channel, hope you enjoyed, stick around. I'm Tempted Jaguar and today something's gonna die, at least I'm hoping. We're heading to a town, so we're gonna have to see what's gonna die. It may be me, <laughs> just in case you didn't know that. Uh, but before we start guys, don't forget to like the episode and share it. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, recommend it. It's gonna be a long fucking series, I feel. But it's gonna be a good one. So, that out of the way, let's uh, let's ride our fucking wagon. Oh, let's decelerate and tap to accelerate. Here we go. I'm pretty sure in the last one we lost a bunch of shit, like right here. <laughs> Keep us moving, but calm. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need <laughs> help? I reckon we can handle it. I don't know, it seems hey, a little weird. You and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Roger. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. <laughs> say <the> less. <laughs> Bash wheel. <laughs> Bash the fucking wheel. This is how you fix things in the West. Body slam it a few times. <laughs> You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. That's probably true. Poor bastards. You really screwed them up down here. Whoops. Come on. Let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Okay. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left. Oh, yeah, right. There's a thing. Yeah, I can turn... What does it want me to do? It wants me to look at my compass. Okay. So I can change it from compass to map. Or I can just turn it off yes. completely. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them. It was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well... Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, I love this. <laughs> Never forget. I'm gonna say this in every episode. Man, Charles, the cinematics is fucking fantastic. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Look, look at that. So, it's gorgeous. What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. Why does this guy sound more native months. now than he did before? Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Oh, yeah. Around 13, <laughs> I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Mars did, apparently. You're now hot. This is shown by... Okay, hold on. I need to get out of this. Turn this back on. Oh. Arthur? Uh, it's a long, 
let's put this back on regular. Is it not going to tell me shit about it? Can't wait. That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our mm -hmm. kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. Can I get off the wagon? I can't. Fuck. I was gonna kill those deer. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always sure. has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Look at all these animals. There's so many of them. Look at the cliff faces, holy shit. Working on there anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, he's gonna teach us how to... Yeah, teach us how to make shit. Craft some herbs, these herbs can be crafted, blah blah blah. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them and learn about their properties. I wonder if like, my horse actually picked up speed. Compendium um, updated. Hold up for detail. Oh, hold, hold on. Well, that's not really the deets I'm looking for, but um, where are we coming from? Like, we followed this way here. The Spider Gorge Glacier. So, so we were up here somewhere. Okay, whatever. I don't care right now. We'll figure it out. I really want to get to town. Sell some of my wares. Should we go back to cinematic view? No. I feel like they go slow when I'm in cinematic view right now. Maybe. Let me see. We keep up the same speed. Oh shit. Will we stay on the road? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. They're just on the same speed. That's good. I wonder if they match your speed that you set them for. Oh. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh, picking up stowaway. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Okay, so it's a camp, like, outside of the town. Oh yeah. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Cool. You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. <laughs> but now, <laughs> yeah, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. This guy sounds like Jeff Bridges. 
I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Who the fuck is this guy? Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Fuck Uncle, yeah. Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Donate money and valuables to camp to upgrade ammo, food, and other camp of supplies. Of have your okay. tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything <laughs> apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! Sleep, I shave, and shit. change clothes at your tent. You Not a lot of privacy in this tent. I'm totally gonna change my clothes. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Over the Plow. It was only the first chapter. <laughs> Shit. I guess that makes sense. It was only... Yeah, we're almost about two hours in, roughly, in the gameplay at least. So yeah, that makes sense. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Oop. Dropping shit. He's been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Each right you can rest to maintain your course. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> He's gonna read a book. Okay, so... There are th three... Let's see, let's see what I need. I heard you can look at specific stats. So your health core is 100%, my stamina core is 100%, my dead eye is 100%, so we're okay. Drain rate's at 85%. How do I... How do I change the... Cl oh, right. I can do that in my tent. Hold on. Let's find the tent here. I already changed, though. Your beard is getting long. You can use a shaving kit beside your tent uh, or visit the barber to maintain your facial hair. Okay. Sleep, sit, inspect, bedroll. Oh, that's not what I want. 
Let's ammo, provisions, health supplies can be found around camp. The current stock levels are shown when near the tithing, tithing box. Okay. So where's my shaven kit? <laughs> Arthur's dog. That's my dog. Okay. So examine. Oh no, it's a photo. Where the fuck? Change clothing. Let's see what we got in here. <clears throat> Outfits. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for Summer Gunslinger. Oh, I got multiple hats. Eh. I like the gambler's hat. Okay, whatever. We'll just stick with this. Kinda wanna get into this more, and I wanna find out how to fucking shave. Anything else around here? For real? Wait, something prompted me there. I didn't see what it was. Just inspect or examine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe it's this. The mirror. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All facial hair. Oh, oh, I bring down the length. Let's go with let's go with this. Yeah. You have no pomade to apply. Oh, pomade. It's uh like what grease? <laughs> let's just trim it. Oh, I can't. It's just my hair. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right so we're good. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. Uh, he can use meat for food and skins to craft satchels, which increase capacity. Okay. So there's the gun thing over here. I'm seeing a bullet, at least. It doesn't look like I have any bullets. All right, let's let's look at the map. This is... Uncle needs to speak to you. Okay. Where are the other two? One's... Reverend Swanson. Oh, this is a train. And where's the town? The town's up here. So he told you that Javier, Bill, and Charles were already in Valentine. Okay, so we're just going to talk to Uncle. He's closest. We'll start with that one. They're all orange, so it looks like they're all main story missions, but that probably just means... Or not orange, yellow. <laughs> um, but that probably means that they are uh, just kind of showing you the ropes before they break you into the other ones. Where the fuck is this guy? Oh, he's right there. What the fuck up? Ow! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, very well. <laughs> Always a hobo. Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you <laughs> get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. God, this guy's lazy. <laughs> you gonna take the old man in town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. 
<laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Okay. See, that's cool. They they give you actual directions. Like if you listen to them talking, it says go through the trees and then take a left. So that I could turn the compass off and they'll still tell me where to go. I don't even really need to. Get the fucking way. Look what you fucking did. Should have ran that guy down. <laughs> Fuck. This horse too. Whoa. I got you, homie. Whoa! Look at the fucking coyotes over there. I think they're coyotes. Okay. It's calm. You'll be able to lead the horse back to its owner. So it's calm already. All right, bud. I kind of want this horse. It's just because it's a white horse. I like the white horse look. But my horse is still good. I think you can get new horses though, I'm not sure. I also realize that a lot of the time I'm talking like western and I'm not trying to. It's just picking up on the accent, I guess. <laughs> Your action in the world impact your honor level and change how people in the world interact. Positive actions will make you more honorable. Welcome, homie. So I'm here for it. now. There's no, there's no more coyotes. Oh fuck. Can we go now? Come on, let's go. To Valentine. Woo! You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse both lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, well look, still way. I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> I was thinking that's what was going to happen, actually. <laughs> we were going to rob them. Woo! Smell those sheep! <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at it looks all right. snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> right next to the sheriff's office. Near the sheriff's place. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. Oh man, I feel like I should be in cinematic for this. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Hey, what's your issue? You're my fucking issue. Alright. Here we are, just like I said. Beat this man. Hey dog. Man at his finest. Okay. What are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. Right. We'll start at the salute. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. 
Okay. So that's how I'll you follow see yourself, uncle. is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Yeah, okay. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. <laughs> Ringworm's right. my favorite. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. <laughs> this is the place now. Come on. That's awesome. <laughs> What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. Actually, let's sell. Sell some stuff. Items can be sold. I'm gonna keep a lot of the food and stuff. What's what's this? Sorted salted. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Don't I have like a bunch of watches? Oh, right here, but I can't sell it. Gun oil. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Does not accept this item. Oh, okay, so other people will buy it. Okay, alright. Um, let's look at your catalog, buddy. You feeling alright? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The Fresh lamb's food? the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. I got a lot of money. Give me sold out. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, this should do the trick. Go we'll buy all yep. of their fresh That's food here. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the That's storage good. thing That's when we get back to the outside. town. Wow, those are expensive. I'm not buying those. What else you got? Let's go dry goods. Let's see what they got. Hmm. I don't want any of that. Alright, let's get some rum. <laughs> let's see what they got at least. What, they're sold out all the rum? Fine brandy. And gin. Red Rocket cigarettes. <laughs> Jelly Jack's chewing tobacco. Oh, it's a fortification one. Wow, those things are expensive. I like that. Okay, cool. Um, we're just gonna buy one of these. We'll buy one gin. I'm just buying them to try them out. I don't know what any of this shit's really gonna do. <clears throat> Thanks, bud. Can I, can I talk to you? No? Alright, bye! <laughs> Whoa. What's this, what's this X over here I'm seeing? Okay. Is that one of them? Oh, that's what they wanted me to buy. All right, cool. Cool. All right. He just wants tobacco with his rum. Oh, here's to your good health, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. An heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Karen? 
I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been <laughs> gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. No, gotta beat someone up. Me. I thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Diffuse. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Or what exactly? Oh God! I'm gonna find out. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Right Go away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Oh, I want to whoop this guy's ass so bad. I'd advise you to stay away from me. That's right. <laughs> I love that you could do that. That's fucking sweet. You could pull your pistol just threatening me. I heard somewhere somebody say because I a lot of people on Twitter have like posting a lot of spoiler shit in this game, but there was like some shit where you can um I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Can't get in there. Okay, so there was this thing where you can like shoot in the air and scare them. <clears throat> Can so when you're you robbing people, you can scare them. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella, mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in two B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Two B upstairs. No trouble now, please. <laughs> Can't promise you shit. Watch, she's got him tied up and fucking him, killing him. Hey! Hey, you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Whoa, whoa. I paid for nothing. <laughs> I just had to hit him once. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but it is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. That's it. Yeah. You. I kind of wanted to like throw this guy a nickel or something. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. All right. Chase the damn. the girls home. I'm gonna go <laughs> have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. I don't remember how to lasso. Just following it. Stay away from me! Get back here right now! Wait, where the fuck did he go? I was looking down. Oh wait, the red. There, I see it. Okay. I was trying to read whatever showed up, and then uh, I missed where it was. <laughs> this is my bad. There he is. Hey, buddy. 
Now I want to question him. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. All right. Come on. I don't want to murder you. In your fancy plaid suit. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. <laughs> you see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? <laughs> I looks... never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. <laughs> I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> not not one lick. Not <laughs> one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, well, this is my temporary horse. This is the horse I stole. Come on. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna call for this one. Um, and we're running real, real far yeah. over. But we should have. Okay, don't run the horse off the cliff. That would not be good. Whoa. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and share. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Um, you can find me also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, and G Plus while it's still up and running. Um, yeah, just search for me, or you can. Uh, all of these are in the description down below. Just look for the links that are right there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.